this is our simple room in Eucla, about 185 a night. It's a little on the expensive side, but you know, tend to pay a bit more when you get in the middle of nowhere. And we have ocean views. Out there is the ocean. Anyway, over this side of the room is a fridge. It's about 6.30 in the morning. We're getting ourselves prepped with our coffee. And here's what the bathroom in the Eucla Motel Hotel looks like. Like I said, 185 a night. A little bit on the rich side, but we can't complain. It is in the middle of nowhere and we had somewhere to sleep. Um, it's all been renovated on the inside here and painted and new tiles and yeah. So quite neat, quite tidy, floating floorboards. Uh, the room was quite comfortable for the night. There's an air conditioner up there if it gets too hot or cold. Uh, reverse cycle. Yeah, not, not bad. We enjoyed it. Um, yeah, Eucla Motel Hotel. There's my lovely wife. G'day viewers, here we are. Fill up the car with petrol. Angie's taking Jessica Simpson, making sure the windscreen's clean for the day. We're about to travel seven hours to Norseman. Norseman's our next stop. I'll give you a quick look around at Euclid Motel Hotel. A nice giant whale here. We see a few whales <laughs> as we uh, get round. I'm uh, Angie said to come across and have a look at this van. The stormtroopers sitting in the back. I love it. That's hilarious. There's the Eucla Motel Hotel sign up there. There's a cafe. We basically didn't do much uh, vlogging last night because we came in, we were starving. It was actually 7 o'clock in South Australia, even though it was 5 o'clock ish here. So we were ready to eat some food. Yeah, it's not a bad little spot. I'm glad it's here. There's a caravan to the, the left of us. Caravan Park. Uh, no, to the right of us that way. There we go. You can take photos and see the ocean. Yeah, our next stop is Norseman. Thanks for uh, sticking with us. We're on to day, what was it, 15, 14, 15, 16. Day 16 of our trip from Western Australia to the Northern Territory and back. Fantastic. Well, we'll see you on the road. Just have a little look at this sign over here. It's got some uh, distances. Here we go, Norseman, 712 away. Sedona was 495 back. Dave's and Andy, so I like that one, I don't know who they are. Kalgoorlie, we came from there, 904 away. Esperance, 918. Perth, 1434. Adelaide, 1268, well, almost, almost in between. Perth and Adelaide, that's crazy. Melbourne's 1989, to Sydney and 2980 to S Brisbane, kilometres of course. I, uh, I find that pretty amazing. It's amazing to think that in seven days or so you can be you know, across all the states. That's crazy to us anyway. Well here we are folks, still on the air highway, about an hour into our journey. 100k later, driving from Eucla to Norseman. Yeah, it's looking really good out there. Uh, cool day, 16.5 degrees, so that's nice. Always nice to travel on cool days in the car rather than getting hot. And it's a bit more fuel efficient too, I think, because you're not running your air conditioner and all that. So we've uh, stopped at a place called Majura. 
just a little bit of a stopover and a walk. Uh, it looks like there's a restaurant here, or there's a fuel station as you can see. Restaurant, takeaway meals. Over there, motel, hotel if you need it. Yeah. I'll uh, flip you around, you can have a look. There's Angie on her way. Caravan Park and Camping Motel. The Shell Station just there. Payphone. Got a few people doing the same thing as we're doing, stretching their legs. Here we are. Two hours into our journey. Still on the air highway. Yeah, it's a nice peaceful trip today. I'm enjoying the coolness of it all. Well, here we are at Cocklebitty. Standing out in front of the uh, snack bar and so on. We've got a motel just behind us there if you want to stay here. We've got some trucks hanging here. We've stopped at the snack bar, public bar and reception over here. Oh, come over and read this sign. Let's see what it says. It says. Welcome to Cockle Biddy, population 8, budgies 25, quail 7, dogs 1, kangaroos 1,234,567 dead. <laughs> so, ah, uh, look, I'll tell you what, they have a sense of humour around here. Look, I love the, the shells. I don't know how far from the ocean we are, but I get this feeling we're bloody miles away from it and yet they've still managed to string up a whole lot of shells together we've got a service station over here if you need to fill up a few people are i can smell something cooking that smells lovely we've got some budgies with these little fellas there they are i don't know if you can see them through there focus Hello! Ooh. Sensational. And yeah. Got a uh, petrol station. Yeah, I know they have a bit of a look at the petrol station. The toilets are just here. Uh, 66k to Kaguna. Caledonia is coming up. And then Norseman, 438. So a little bit while. Here we are, four hours into our journey, according to our stats down here. Four hours in our journey, 414 kilometers, 100k per hour is our average at 7.1, so still high usage. We're still driving straight to a face wind. You can see we've got rain out the front. We've had sunshine, we've had rain, we've had 39 degrees in the past. We've got all over. Uh, yeah, we're about 100 kilometres shy of Baladonia. So still travelling on the air highway. Uh, our next time we'll, well, probably might have a bit of a stop, maybe a walk and stretch our legs at Baladonia, but. Yeah, the next major stop is Norseman, where we're headed. A um, few trucks on the road today, a few caravans, but much quieter than yesterday. So, yeah, not, not a bad travelling day, really. Oh, oh, 
catch your next update. Well, here we are still on the air highway. Five hours and 42 minutes. We stopped in Belladonia a little while back just to uh, have a break, stretch our legs. Uh, as you can see, just more open road in front of us. We're getting closer to Norseman, 130 at the last sign. So not long to go, about an hour and a half, maybe a little bit under at 110. Uh, traffic's pretty light. Uh, we've still had showers every now and then. The sun is warming us up, 18 degrees now. And once more we have entered Norseman. Finally got here. Six hours and 49 minutes, made some good time. 6.7 in fuel now, litres, 101 kilometres average. Picked up the pace there. I don't think there's much breeze actually looking around. I think we finally might have beat the north wind. <laughs> actually, I think it was the west wind. Yeah, it's nice to be here and I'm so looking forward to stretching our legs, getting out for a walk. What are we going to here? Oh, 50. That's a rapid drop. And at the end here, last time I remember, was left into Norseman and right if we're heading back to Perth. So here we go. We can go to Esperance from here as well. Coolgardie, Kalgoorlie, Perth, the town centre. There's a restaurant and a motel and BP Norseman here. We're going to head straight to the, the shops, and, like I said, and go and have a sticky beak. I think this is a place where we saw the pool. at the moment have a look for it and things like that and she's very disappointed we got here and the place where the lovely cakes and tie was closed they closed at 2 30 and we arrived at 2 49 we missed it by that much she's feeling very sad so she's going for consolation prize for having some fresh fruit for the first time in a while uh, yep yeah, we could do with some of that but yes her little heart is broken. We had uh, our eyes set on strawberry shortcakes and lamingtons. Oh, we're going to have to wait till I open at 8.30 tomorrow and go at some stage after that and hope that there's some fresh cakes here. They were good. Fresh made. Anything else for now? Ready to go. Here's our little unit thing for the night. Back it up a bit so you can see it in its splendidness. Right next door to the bush. This is us. It's, it's going to be simple, we know that. Uh, I don't know how much this one was for the night. But yes. Yeah, it's pretty basic. It's a uh, bed for the night. Mm -hmm. Smells like uh, scrubbing Ajax or some old fashioned detergent. One of the old-fashioned detergents. Yeah. Smells like something my nanny used. I'm sure it's Ajax. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyhow, 
Here's our loo. Here's our shower for the night. Again, beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> this is the best we could do. And then it's home to our own bed tomorrow night. We're looking forward to that. And you're just opening up, getting a bit of air in. It's fairly simple, but it'll do. Looks like there's a fan on something there. We can always pull the plug out. That stopped it. <laughs> so it's pretty unique. So a fair bit of effort's gone into the Norseman Tourist Centre. Looks pretty good here. That's a heck of a mural on there. Beautiful. The woodlands on the wall. Points out what's in the picture. Including the old Sturt Desert Pea, which we saw a bit of. In all the room, we went that way. Scrub turkeys and a few things. Yeah. So they're trying to put it on the map, I get the feeling. But uh, there's Angie up ahead. And we've got some uh, tin camels sitting in the middle of the roundabout. There they are. G'day, folks. We're uh, off to. Um, next door which is the best western hotel or something like that there's a restaurant the great, western. great western hotel motel or something yeah. anyway because there's not a hell of a lot here at uh, Norseman to have dinner at I can tell you there's fooderies and a roadhouse and everything else is either shut or out of business or closed so we're gonna go and try it here it's right next door to the caravan park we're staying we'll have a sticky beak and uh, we'll report on the back later see if it was a uh, successful thing or not and, uh, yeah most of the people here as you can see behind us are in caravans so they have their own food and stoves and they're all fine we've still got people coming in too so yeah I'll uh, tell you what the grub's like later on so this is the uh, this is the best Western in Norseman um, Seems to be on the outside. I can't say we've seen the inside. We're not staying here a lot nicer than where we're staying uh, But what's got us is fully booked down So and that's why Angie and I have ended up next door at the caravan park and Angie booked this in February, so you want to get in well ahead. It looks like lots of people stop in here it Looks like lots of people stop in here on their way to crossing the Nullarbor so that looks like a definite and there's heaps of workers lots of workers cars and utes and four-wheel drives parked out the front of them so I'd say they're booked up by their companies while they do their work here so yeah as you can see it's not a bad looking place in the background um, yeah I mean the rooms probably look nice and we're killing a bit of time because uh, one of the things is it said that um, uh, in the restaurant, I said no, uh, no motel guests. Was it for motel guests only? For motel guests only, and we had to make a booking. So I said, "Could we come back at six? So we didn't mind, even though it was a, a bit strange <laughs> since we were there and there were empty tables. But we made a booking, and we're coming back at six. Um, yeah, we'll tell you what the food's like. Uh, very popular this one, and I can see why. It's a mm -hmm. uh, it's a lot nicer. A lot nicer than where we're staying. But a lot more modern. A lot more modern. So, yeah, make a recommendation that uh, if you're going to stay here, uh, first probably option would be the best right. western, yeah, and stay here for the, the night. Uh, if you're like us, where it's like we don't have a hell of a lot of choice, we are staying next door at the, what was it called? Acclaim. Acclaim Gateway. Getaway, uh, Gateway, Gateway, that's right. Caravan Gateway Park. Caravan Park Norseman. and you saw what the room like was there very basic like a caravan almost um, yeah 
Anyway, beggars can't be choosers, and we're only a day away from getting back to Perth and home and seeing our family and our grandkids again. First time in three weeks, I think. It'll almost be, or something like that. Yeah. What I'd are we up to? This is day 16. 16 days of not seeing the grandies, so we're yeah. looking forward to that. Um, it is our dogs will miss her. Our dogs, our two dogs will miss us. <laughs> Every time we see Phoebe via, what do you, what do you call that, uh, Face, FaceTime, Snapchat, and, Snapchat yeah. and all those things like that. She's got a tail down and she's photobombing all over the place, but it's like she's not happy that we're not there. Uh, we have noticed as we come around this side of the motel, hotel, not as nice as the inner side. No but also most of the workers seem to be over this side. So, yeah, this is still Best Western. Um, yeah, it's been a real adventure. I've uh, really quite enjoyed going across the Nullarbor Plain. I've never, well, I haven't done that since I was very, very small with my mum and dad, but yeah, so seeing it in the eyes of Nanot was really amazing. Um, we we're just talking about highs and lows today, and we we're saying that one of the highs was Definitely Uluru, right up the top there. One of the lows, you don't want to get food poisoning on the road, I tell you. <laughs> That's not good. Uh, put a bit of a, a dent in our Adelaide plans. We certainly intended to uh, indulge more in their culture, their food and their bits and places, uh, bits, bits and pieces and places, but yeah, didn't quite happen like that. We did the best we could. Yeah. It was, um, it's been fun. Uh, it's an adventure. I don't know if we'll repeat it again. We, we, we'll talk about that when we get back. <laughs> it's, a, it's a long, you know, when you're driving for seven hours or nine hours, it's it's long. We can tell you that much. It's You get a bit, you know, your bum gets a bit restless. And we're stopping every hour and a half to two hours just to stretch our legs and do whatever. So yeah, it's a, it's a deal. But it's also amazing to think, I mean, other people in other countries won't understand but to us, you know, when you sit there and go, man, in seven days, eight days, I could be across uh, into Victoria by driving or Queensland by driving, you know, go down to Tasmania. You don't have to fly a plane, you could just drive across our country. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if uh, uh, Andy and I talked about, there's a few states we still haven't seen, Melbourne and uh, we haven't been to. Uh, I think we'll fly. And yeah, <laughs> she was saying, would we drive there? And I think flying might be an option. Not that we haven't enjoyed the adventure, no. but sitting, like I said, for seven hours straight or nine hours straight in a, in a seat driving. Uh, yeah, it takes a bit of time. Uh, but it wasn't not enjoyable. No. It's just, it's yeah, different. it's different. It's unusual. <laughs> It's nice. It's nice. Well, look, there's, there's one of those tumbleweeds. There's one of those tumbleweeds. We hit one of them doing about 110. We shattered it to everywhere. And then uh, Angie spent a bit of time and myself picking the bits out of the grill. Uh, no damage or anything like that. Fortunately, they're straw thin, but yeah, it was just one of those. It, uh, it got decimated. Watching our children play and grow older Watching the love between 